So I'm talking to Tom Gillian, who's a, an American artist. He's a, he produces splendid scenery um, from the West, from Montana, and um, <clears throat> that whole big country. And he's been at it for quite a while. He's really good at what he does. Um, a lot of his motifs seem to have a North American native kind of flavor to them, which is kind of nice. And um, <clears throat> he's obviously from his bio and his website and all the rest of it, he's really popular and he's got lots of awards and lots of success. And it's pretty obvious he loves to do what he's doing. And it's a, a pure, pure privilege to be able to talk to him. And um, and ask him some questions. So, um, Tom, do you remember when you got started? Like, what, what, what it was that attracted you to the idea of using your hands to produce art? Well, I, I really don't remember a time when I, when I didn't uh, do that. My earliest memories, I was, I was already drawing. Um, I, I lived with my grandparents when I was really small. And my grandfather was a, a really talented cabinet maker who also was, um, he, he had no formal training in art, but he was very good draftsman, very good at drawing. And that was our form of entertainment in the evenings was um, my, my grandfather would describe things that he had seen in the world. Um, and um, then he would draw them. Uh, and I would That's ask him, I would ask him, uh, what, for instance, what does a what does a shark look like, and he would draw a shark. Or I'd ask him about what a whale would look like, and he would draw that. So, <clears throat> it's my earliest memory is that uh, I I just thought that every everybody was that way. It was it was <laughs> not. That's it was no more uncommon to me that to see sure. someone drawing than than uh, to hear someone talk. It just seemed like everybody did that. Uh, I, I think maybe you're 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 asking about when did I think that I would uh, convert from an illustrator into a, a fine artist, a gallery painter. I guess there is a line there, isn't there? There's a there is there kind of a distinct line between the one and the other. There's a less. very distinct line. Yeah. Um, I, I think um, a, a lot of time, often it's it's a, a line that should not be drawn because some of our greatest Painters and greatest artists now were at the time, um, in quotations, just illustrators. Sure. And we have uh, the people that we revere now, like Winslow Homer, our, our greatest artist, that was, uh, you know, really at the time he was a, an illustrator. Yes. NCYF was a, an illustrator. Uh, Remington yeah. actually was an illustrator. So there's a line um, that we get um, uh, delineated into just illustrators. Mm -hmm. uh, so there, it's a it's a difficult it's a difficult line to cross. Um, for most people, you're uh, when you become um, well known as an illustrator and then demand as an illustrator, you command a pretty high price for your for your artwork. And then at the same time, uh, in the galleries, you're relatively unknown. So it's, yes. it's um, like taking a big pay cut to become a fine artist. I get uh, it. So it's, a, it's a difficult line to cross. Yes. And you did it. I did it. Um, I did it in a way. Um, I did it without really thinking about uh, that I was doing it. I, uh, I had a... Um, I had a contract with Disney, uh, the Disney Imagineering. I had a really lucrative um, contract, uh, like a retainer. I got so much a year whether they used me or not. Sure. So wow. Often, there would be often, there would be times when <clears throat> nothing was going on, and, it, and instead of playing a lot of golf and fishing, I actually did canvases uh, and I decided that <clears throat> we were in the West, um, uh, and you're probably familiar with 
uh, homes being built out here that are uh, ridiculous to call them homes. They're more like uh, palaces, and they're huge. And, and I noticed that um, they had huge walls, and I also noticed that not many galleries had large paintings. So sure. it, it just seemed to me like um, a <laughs> fundamental and, and uh, you know, why, why, why isn't anyone thinking about that? So I decided I would do very large, bright colored canvases, and, and that's where it, it just wow. jumped off. Yeah. It just uh, jump started, and the first year I was uh, making far more in the galleries than I had been as an illustrator. Isn't that wonderful? But, well, it was, and, and, you know, looking back, I could claim to be a genius, but uh, uh, oh. in reality, it was just, it just happened. And well, you were using your observation to notice that there was a niche available here that you could fill. That, that a very huge marketing, uh, right? vacuum. Yeah. A very large vacuum. <laughs> and and uh, the other thing that I noticed was that uh, people were... We're, they're really sophisticated. They don't. They're not all just born on a ranch and grew up on a the ranch. They they come out west with a large uh, uh, bank account, and uh, they wanted they wanted art that was actually western in theme. Yep. But they didn't want they didn't want the, the you know the Charlie Russell and uh, and um, Remington typical cowboys indians they wanted western yeah. theme but they wanted more like uh, george o'keefe more so that's where i i developed my thinking along the lines is make it big bold and iconic and and it, and it just um it was it was a big vacuum and i just happened to be there 